Hi folks, it's Mike Can again. I just wanted to uh, follow up and continue on about Fast and Furious. I posted a video yesterday about Fast and Furious. Got a lot of feedback from people on uh, Facebook and my emails and instant messages and uh, just wanted to talk about some of the feedback and some of the uh, information that's just come out on Fast and Furious. Uh, the first thing I want to read is just a message I got from a friend of mine who was talking about a friend he lost. Um, and this is the email I got. Uh, I'm going to withhold the names, but you can kind of get the idea of it. A friend of mine went to Southern California and ended up never coming back. They found his Cadillac with three dead bodies in it on the border of Mexico, but uh, not our friend. Nine months later, they found, out, found his bones still with flesh on them in a tub of lime in Ohio. He was 29 and the cartel set him up and killed him and took $100,000 probably with those same guns you just spoke of much love and respect Mike so a friend of mine sent me a message about a friend he lost uh, through the drug cartels and the drug war and you know this is the issue with uh, Fast and Furious these guns are killing Americans they're killing Mexicans they're killing people and we don't know who, who's been killed besides agent Brian Terry we know at least one person has been murdered and he was a federal employee uh, but we also suspect that there are many, many other people who have been murdered with these guns that the federal government was selling through the ATF. Um, some other messages I received from folks who uh, seem to be a little partisan in nature, talking about uh, the Bush years and how uh, gun running is something that the Bush regime probably did, and the fact that the Bush, uh, Bush Reagan years, they probably did much worse, especially with Iran Contra. And uh, if you look into Dark, Dark Alliance by Gary Webb and look into MENA Arkansas, the thing I want to say on it is it, that it's both parties. Whether it was Clinton, Bush, Reagan, um, or now Obama, it, it seems like the same story. And, and, and that's something I do know and I do understand. And I know that the Republicans are the ones leading the investigation right now on Fast and Furious. And that puts off a lot of people. Um, I understand where you're coming from. I don't expect the Republicans to get to the bottom of it. Um, both parties seem to practice something called limited fall, limited hangout, where they'll pick a scapegoat and uh, focus on that and use it as a political issue. And that's what Fast and Furious has started to become. It really is not that. It shouldn't be that. Um, I feel like the Republicans are, are really focusing on the, the the motive. One of the motives that I left, which was the, uh, about taking away American uh, gun rights. That is a good possibility. I think it's more likely, and the reason I say this more likely is because of the executive privilege that A.G. Holder asked the president to take up, um, to cover everything up. And, and why would they do that? Well, they could cite national security reasons. And national security reasons, how, 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 giving guns to drug cartels, how is that national security? Well, consider this. The Obama administration has been very forward and very um, pushing their foreign policy and regime change. Um, they're not uh, doing it the Bush way, sending in armies. They're, they're, they're funding things. Uh, look at Egypt, look at Syria, look at Lebanon. These are coups and overthrows. Iran is another example. There's a soft war going on in all these countries and other countries. And I think Mexico is probably a target of it as well. Mexico and Honduras. Look at those countries. Look at what is happening right now. The DEA, the FBI, the CIA setting up offices down there. They're taking over uh, control of those countries, law enforcement. This is what they want. Blood in the streets, they can take over. It's regime change, order out of chaos. This is really the reason I'm most fascinated with this because I really think that this is what they're covering up. And th this is what the Republicans don't want to come out either because they're always involved in this, these types of activities, whether now or in the past or in the future. Both parties are involved in these types of activities, and we need to expose it. Forget the party system. Expose the wrongdoing, whether it's Democrat or Republican. We need both parties to be exposed when they take part in illegal actions. No, the president, the attorney general, they have to follow the law. This presidential exemption, that, that just should not apply. Can Obama come down and murder me today because he doesn't like what I have to say and will exempt that? Well, apparently, yes. That's called dictatorship. That's called fascism. We no longer live in a free country. We are so corrupt because of this drug war. It needs to end. And I also want to add Obama and Holder. 
if they don't, if they didn't do anything wrong, why won't they answer the questions? If they didn't do anything wrong, why are they hiding? If they didn't do anything wrong, why did they, in the past, in the very beginning, present what has been proven to be fraudulent documents, lies? Why? 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 Why are the ATF agents, especially the supervisors, being less than honest, not answering questions? I've watched over two years of, of, of these test, uh, you know, hearings before Congress. And it's just unbelievable the lies that come from the Attorney General and the ATF supervisors. Why are they lying? I think we know. You know, I think we I think deep down if you really look at it and look into the stories, I mean just do a Google on Mexico City DEA. Do a Google on Mexico City FBI CIA, you'll see that they are opening offices, they are putting agents down there, and the one thing they always need to do that is the Mexican government's cooperation. They need approval from the Mexican government. Uh, the Mexican government has been approving it, but could that change? Absolutely it could change. With another election, it could change at any moment in time, even with the current Mexican administration that supports the drug war. Why? Because there's political pressure in Mexico to legalize drugs, just like in America. There's political pressure to tell the U.S. to pound sand because the U.S. is the one selling guns and selling drugs, the U.S. government, you know? So how do they stop that? Blood in the streets, fear, crime. What's the easiest way to do that? Flood Mexico and America with guns. Uh, I also want to talk about Chicago. Chicago is having record homicides, more homicides than ever before. Their city is more dangerous than any city than Cabal, Afghanistan. Chicago. You know, there's some rumors and, and news stories on the internet that maybe some of the guns went to Chicago. Good possibility. We know that they were sold in our Arizona. We know that they were sold in Florida. Who knows where they would go from there? Mexico, Boston, New York, Chicago, L.A., Vegas. These are cent central locations where the drug trade takes place. Cartels are at. The guns could be anywhere. And the guns could be there for the next 10, 20 years. They didn't trace them. No GPS. This was... Let's let the guns go through. This was doing a favor for somebody. And, and the somebody is the drug cartels. And we need to know why. We need to know why. Why did they support the drug cartels? Why did the Obama administration? Don't let this die. Let's keep at this. I'm going to keep putting out videos. This is a huge, huge, huge issue. And we're going to keep talking about it. And I'm not going to stop. And uh, just, just, just keep posting it and keep talking about it. Let's keep the conversation going. What do you think? Tell me. Tell us what you think.